the chief of staff to the governor of Edo State, that is Honorable Patrick Obayagwan. I'm sure it's a delight to have you in this stadium. Honorable Obayagwan, this process, how would you describe it? Well, the first thing is to say, what is this all about? And uh, to answer your question straight away, let me say that uh, uh, this is the climax of a democratic peregrination among a vaudeville of gubernatorial aspirants seeking a place in the very slippery cockpit of a do state's political governance. In their quest to do, to do that, for the past six months, they have traversed the nooks and cranny of a do state's political canvas, espousing, philosophizing, pontificating, and depositing their respective political pronunciamentos. You may want to ask me, what are my impressions of these aspirants? I would say that it has been from the sublime to the ridiculous. One or two of the aspirants have displayed political savvy and they have proven to some of us, and I want to believe the majority of us, that they have the requisite mental magnitude to be able to steer the ship of state. But, so, but for, for some others, it has been the result of politics of prebendalism and politics of atavism. Let me tell you, your governments have been accused by some of these aspirants you're talking about, that your governments have been accused of financially inducing some of these aspir um, um, delegates. And as a matter of fact, in the last 48 hours, they've been quarantined in different locations, made incommunicado to, you know, to, to reach them. How would you react to this allegation? That is a result to blackmail. It is cashing on the last straw. It is trying to lock the stable door when the horse has bolted. I want to say, if anybody has said so, it is a campaign of ballyhoo. It shows political diffidence. As far as I'm concerned, I'm the chief of staff, by the grace of God, to the adjusted government, and I should be aware, I should be apprised of developments like that happening, happening with the state government. Do you have an anointed candidate? I don't know what you mean by anointed candidate. That a congeré of close to 3,000 delegates are con convoked in the sacred precincts of Samuel Bamudia Stadium just now, the box, the so-called philosophy of anointing the candidate. Today, all the 12 aspirants shall submit themselves to all of the delegates. In a democracy, the people and only the people are philosopher kings. It is the best candidate acceptable to the people that shall emerge out of this process today. So there is nothing like having an, an, an anointed candidate. Do you see your party coming tops come September 10 because whatever might be the fallout of this particular primaries, some of these aspirants might decide to leave your party. Do you have that such internal mechanism in which you use to resolve crisis? What the APC is known for is a free and fair and diaphanous political process. The proclivity for political aspirants to take a state and skedaddle from their political platform after a major political contestation is like, like this is if the process is strewn and leading with a political talidomide. So that we have put in place a free and fair and diaphanous political ceramics is the first antidote to such, exec to such executical and irresponsible behavior on the part of any political bracket. But I want to assure you that we have a very salubrious internal res uh, problem re resolving machine in the state. And as soon as the, 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 the aspirant emerges into a candidate today, right from this place, the internal conflict resolution mechanism of the APC shall, shall swing into action. And in any case, in any case, Obaya, we well, thank you. We could go on and on and on with Honorable Patrick Obayagwan, but one thing I promise you is that 
As events unfold here, we are here 24 hours till a candidate emerges from the All Progressive Congress ahead of the September 10 um, governorship election at the Samuel Ogbemudia Stadium. 